Celadon takes the time to commandeer his own eyes. He looks around the room, seeing computers, consoles, and lights. Funny, he thinks. Commandeer his own eyes. Strange how he must actually make an effort now to control his body. Something he took for granted before. Now he clings onto every moment of control as if it's his last. His body shows no reaction to these thoughts, save a few blinks. Ali points at something sparkly, with tubes and flashing lights. It is really the life support for the ship, but she doesn't understand that. Eladan merely suspects. Ali asks brightly, what's that, mommy? Nana replies, that's is the central support nexus for the starship baby. Everyone on this voyage will be interfaced to that. Eladan then pushed a bit more. His voice became a little deeper and cracked. Genetic programming from the collar and halo to distinct when someone is fighting their programming. He sounds more like the old Eladan, than Baby Ali. How exactly does it work? Nana replies, oh baby, Nana doesn't know such things. Now lie still while I attach these things. Ali complied and laid back. Nana attaches many cuffs around your arms and legs. She then slides a bar across your midsection and it locks in place. Eladan looks around. Cuffs. He looks back up, afraid a bit. The fear is evident but then passes as she continues and he is Ali again. You feel a strong but pleasant electrical sensation run through you. Nana kisses Ali lovingly and says softly, sweet dreams baby my love.